increasing number of abductions and killings has been a concern to the many reactions following the abduction and subsequent release of the prelate of Methodist Church of Nigeria, Samuel Kano Uche. Recall that Dr. Uche was reportedly kidnapped among, along the, along with the Methodist Bishop of Owiri, Right Reverend Dennis Mark and the prelate chaplain, but were released after paying 100 million naira ransom. Hmm. Is that not credible? I mean, incredible. Isn't it? It is really, really incredible. Well, they were all adopted. Meanwhile, Ade Gorua Ebuola, a human rights activist and senior advocate of Nigeria, recently reacted to the statements and revelations made by the prelate following his release. In a statement titled APC and the Hypocrisy of Governance, Adi Gbowa critiqued the government's response to insecurity in Nigeria while paying particular attention to what the prelate disclosed as to the nearness of some soldiers to the place where they were held captive. While echoing that the Nigeria government has failed to fulfill its duty of security provided for in Section 1, Section 14 of 2 of the Constitution, the son expressed his concern that a ransom that that huge was paid to the kidnappers in cash in five Ghana must go bags in an environment manned by security operatives. According to Daily Post, he said thus, I can't believe ransom was paid in an environment manned by soldiers. The sum of 100 million naira was paid to the kidnappers in cash in five Ghana must go bags signifying the audacity and confidence of the kidnappers. Concluding, Adi Gurua Ebun Ulu stressed that the government should combat insecurity and criminality all around, instead of spreading falsehood about Igbo liberation agitations. How did you react to Dr. Uche's release by the Fulani Esmen, whom they said release him? What steps do you take? You, do you think government should take to arrest criminality and insecurity in Nigeria? Yes, um, that's a pertinent question. Of course, we know that if they want to do what they want to do, they will do it. The man says that instead of the government to be spreading falsehood about Igbo liberation agitators, they should combat insecurity and criminality. Every day, people always advise the government to do this, advise them to do that. It's just like we are just paying for beautiful rubbish because they are not doing anything and go and check what is being paid to them being governor being a president being whatever being one of the leaders in this country it is just so alarming that what we are paid we are paying for we are not getting the dividends in return as a people so every now and then everybody is always coming out to say oh uh, the government should do this are they not aware or do they not know what they are supposed to do if we are supposed to be encouraging them or advising them or what to do them, why paying them such an amount of money? That being said, but the thing of concern is that in an environment where security, the soldiers are operating at their money, their checkpoint there, that's the same area that these kidnappers are just, we're just moving left, right and center according to the Methodist uh, prelates. It is baffling. There was a time we saw one video that went viral when they talked about the kidnappers where they were killing people and that place was close to a uh, police checkpoint army checkpoints and people begin to ask so all this uh, guru, 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 that they always run around and meanwhile the thing was just right at the back of where they man their uh, security post so it's, it's it's somehow now the nigerian army is angry that they said the man said they are part of the people that are helping there because they are so close to the people. So this is not the first time we are hearing it. It is not new. And unfortunately, this incident will still be swept under the carpet. 100 million era in five Ghana must go. The soldiers in the Southeast are not there to protect the people. They are there to enrich themselves. And for ethnic cleansing, just on point, this bishop is not ashamed of his reign of life. You kidnap within two days 100 million era ransom was paid and you were and you were released by your abductors immediately child you can imagine this one so 
all the what's happening in the north of course somebody will say this person will say it is from the north are you writing in chinese because i don't even understand what you are writing what are you now insinuating oh he's, he's saying that the man is lying that nothing of such happened the soldiers in south east are there to kill innocent Igbo youth and sack them esn whatever they are doing the ego gave them the opportunity by their criminal actions against the state so you are reaping what you sowed and when it was made known that these people are full and henchmen very good and well said then bless god it shall soon be your tribe turn thank god it is not egos that stole 80 billion naira no 1.6 trillion naira of nigeria's money no crime could be more horrible than that Buari and co no eh, know everything about insecurity in nigeria the ones on kaduna route said he knew what they wanted these ones now mention him specifically he may have sold the country but only buying time to hand over to the buyers very possible it is possible in this country the man was highly desperate for power such that he may have entered an unknown agreement just to become president this isn't the first time these types mentioned buhari in their demonic acts nothing is hidden forever i think it's becoming clearer who the unknown gunmen are in the southeast yes you really know you got me thinking how does some army officers finance the flamboyant life they live look at their cars hmm, there is god though there's corruption everywhere terrorists and bandits and by extension are an arm of the current governments in power because the security forces are aware of all that is going on since yesterday when these revelations were made no government official neither the defense minister nor the secret services has said anything nor take any step to investigate the matter unfortunately it will go the way others and the kidnappers will be emboldened to continue all non southern soldiers should be deployed from should be redeployed from the region devian security personnel exists and they constituted the first set of armed robbers immediately after the civil war in the 70s this bunch of military men cannot be totally exonerated from violent crimes in the country we are talking about the chief of defense staff the cds lucky rabo he said it himself that majority of course we know it is it is a known fact so coming out to be defending and denying that say, it is not true we are just uh, deceiving ourselves and we don't need to deceive ourselves the more so guys let's hear what you think concerning what the senior advocates of nigeria have said